Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got a painting to share with you today from F. Gobi. Uh, they were kind enough to send me or let me choose an image to share with you all and I did choose a square one this time. I thought it's been a while since I got a square painting from them if memory serves me rightly. Uh, so I got this one which is a 60 by 40 this one is packaged very similar to quite a few different manufacturers actually on aliexpress and off aliexpress and uh, individual companies can use this sort of style of um legend ledger what is it easy whim easy whim use this one who I can, I think, also use this style. There's a few other places as well. Um, but it does give you, on both sides, it gives you the number, the symbol, the DMC number, and how many. So you've got quite a few references there to which one. So this is a 50 by 40, and it is a very close to a true drill size so this is actually 48 and a half so you're only losing one and a half centimeters you're not losing the whole border uh, by 39 so you only lose one centimeter not the whole distance of the border it's a nice um it's a thin canvas but it's not it doesn't feel like necessarily like a cheap canvas. It does lie down really nicely. It is a poured glue, which often with this style of canvas, quite often they can be uh, the double-sided tape. The symbols are really nice and clear. It mainly uses letters and numbers, but there are symbols in there. There's actually quite a few in this one with there being 44 different colors, but I thought the image was gorgeous. I think they call this one Country Manor. Uh, you do get a rather nice toolkit. So you get a white boat, you get two different multi-placers, you get one humongous piece of wax, some tweezers, which may or may not be because it is a square painting. Uh, you also then get your pen with a grip, with a nice squishy grip. And the diamonds are done by weight, so they are in baggies. They're just not lined up like pretty little soldiers. But we have some, ooh, that's a bit of a bright colour. There's only a few of those though. This is a more muted painting. Uh, but each bag comes with the fact that it's number 10 on your little legend. The fact that it's 414. Uh, which is the DMC code and then it tells you that there is 2,394 in this bag and on here it tells you that the painting needs 2,119 so you actually get about 250 more diamonds than you need um, which is always good and I often find that there's even more diamonds in there than they say so for example this one uh, number 39, 3819. We need 36. It says this bag has 40. Now, I'm not counting them, but that's more than 40. That's definitely more than 40. So, there's plenty of diamonds in there. Uh, the main thing to check off with this is that you do have every number. That's the only thing I suggest if you are going to be popping this in your stash for, you know however long it takes for you to get round to it, for you to choose it, for your app to choose it, whatever it may be. Just confirm that you do have each bag of colour from 1 to 44 in this instance. And as long as you have 44 bags, then you have all the diamonds that you're going to need for this project. Um, you could start doing some maths and some weighing, but... I find that's a bit extreme. Um, they are squares. They look really good quality squares from what I can see. We do have 310 in here. 
Yeah, 310 looks good quality. You can often tell um, if you move the bag upside down on a 310, if you find that there is loads and loads of bits stuck in the corner, like little bits of rubbish, uh, sometimes you can wonder, but the quality looks good. There is a couple of little bits of trash, but not like loads. Um, so they do look like good quality drills. They've not got little dimples in the bottom. So yeah, let's let's look at the picture because the picture's nicer. So we just have this house. I really like the way that that like the framing up the top here and some of the features up here have got it's as though it's lit up. It's as though it's lit up for Christmas or just because it's lit up. Um, and then you've got some lovely reflections in the river and a little bridge across to the house. Yeah, I just thought that was an absolutely gorgeous image and would look really, really nice as a square. Have quite a few different purples in this. So we've got the yellows to bring in the light, but we've also got quite a few nice purple colours rather than it all being browns and things like that. So yeah, thank you so much to F Gobi for sending me this. I will pop a link in the description down below in case you want to check this one out for yourself. But thank you all so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.